Hello everyone. In our last session, we have seen how to interface LCD with 8051 and how to write down a very simple program for it, which prints a welcome onto the screen. Now in this session, we'll look at a detailed code using the same LCD underscore data and LCD underscore command function. We have created few more additional functions in this program. So let's begin. Along with LCD data and LCD command, as you had seen, we have used LCD command function in the beginning of the program several times to give some initialization commands. So we created a function of it, void LCD underscore init. And all those initialization commands are given here one after the other. Then we also created one function that is LCD underscore clear because we need to do it much often in our program. The trick to clear the LCD is very simple. You just need to pass a command 1 or simply 0x, 0, 0, 01 to the LCD and the LCD is cleared. Now along with init and clear, we have three important functions created. One is LCD underscore cursor, which takes the cursor to a desired position of row and column. So for 16 by 2 LCD, the row can be 1 or 2, column can be anything from 1 to 16. So by writing LCD underscore cursor 1 comma 1, our cursor goes to the first row and first column of LCD. This is the code for the same. Then we have LCD underscore out, where we have to specify the row position, column position and we can directly print a text string. The example is like this LCD underscore out 1 comma 1 comma hello just like that and then there is LCD underscore print function remember the LCD underscore data can directly only accept ASCII characters so if I give here 1 comma 1 comma a number to be printed like this it won't work. What we need to do is we need to convert this number into its equivalent ASCII format and that's why LCD underscore print function is being created over here. Let's see, let's see how to write down a program with it. First of all, let's declare a variable say int count is equal to 0. Then LCD underscore init will initialize the LCD. LCD underscore out 1 comma 1 comma welcome it will be simply printing the welcome message let's take a delay of one second and then let's clear the lcd with lcd underscore clear in the while one loop what we'll do is we'll print lcd underscore out one comma one comma seconds and LCD underscore print here 2 comma 1 comma count comma 4 the last digit that is 4 indicates how many digits are to be printed for example if the value in count is 35 by specifying 4 it will be printed onto the LCD as 0 0 3 5 just like that then let's do count plus plus and a delay of one second so this is nothing but a simple program which will print the ongoing number of seconds in our program onto the second line it demonstrates lcd init lcd out lcd clear print every function that we have used in this program so let's build the target files Use the same simulation environment we had created last time and just click the play button. If you have changed the uh, location of the project, it would be good to just reload the hex file once. Just click on the play button. First of all, welcome. Then it's cleared and seconds. It's printing the total number of simulation seconds. Sometime, depending upon the CPU load, your CPU might be running slower. 
but it is corresponding to the seconds of simulation time as you see we specified this number as 4 and hence it's printing 4 digits if i specify it as 5 built then a total of 5 digits will be printed now depending upon the requirement you have to decide how many digits of a number you want to print for example i can simply just keep it 2 which will print up to 99 after 99 it will become 0 that's it so using these library functions you can create almost any kind of project with lcd you don't need any other functions what you need to do here in this task is download the attached zip file which contains the kill project as well as proto simulation file study these functions carefully there is a little bit of technical things if you are interested you can study the functions otherwise you just have to master the usage of functions try using all the functions in every possible way so that you can create the further projects which are given with lcd and switches like up down counter or a simple menu creation for temperature controller and so on so that's it for this session i hope you will enjoy this uh, experience of learning lcd thank you